Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How's Saudi? Beautiful, man. Beautiful weather. Uh, they're treating us beautiful. Everything's real nice over here. Man, big fight coming up, man. What, what What's your thoughts on uh, William Cepeda and Tevin Farmer? Uh, it's a good fight. You know, you got Tevin Farmer, an ex-world champion, who had a hell of a fight versus Murutaya. Um, you know, Southpaw Slick. You know, at the end of the day, you know, he, he's a he's a he's something in our way that we got to get rid of. You know, so we're focused on him, and we're and you know we're 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 we're, we're hoping to beat him. You know, this Saturday, and, and moving on to what's next. What what kind of fight do you think this is going to be? Well, it's going to be a fight where William has to be really really smart. You know, he can't just go and. And try to you know be William Cepeda and, and you know come forward against a very slick fighter Southpaw, um, you know, the you know an African American style of boxing, um, you know. So William, I don't think William's ever faced somebody as slick as, as Tevin before. So you know we have to we have to be careful. And we have to play this smart. Right. Um, you know, obviously there was like a clip trending of you saying that, you know, you didn't want William Cepeda to fight Raymond Mortatire. Do you remember that clip? Uh, yeah, I've said it. I don't know which interview, but I've said it three or four times. Right. Um, obviously, Raymond Mortatire fought uh, Tevin Farmer in his last bout. But what what you thought about that bout? Did you I mean, feel like I, the right person won? I mean, you know, at the end of the day, um, I you know, I didn't, I just watched clips. I didn't watch the whole fight. Um, but, you know, I know that a lot of people said, you know, they felt Farmer won, you know, but, but I mean, then again, I wasn't, I wasn't there. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see the whole fight. So I can't, I can't give my opinion on that. Um, I believe what William Cepeda is coming off of that win with Maxi Hughes, the stoppage from Maxi Hughes. Was that the last fight? No, we fought Giovanni Cabrera. Giovanni Cabrera. Excuse me. You didn't. Um, you know, how's, uh, William, you know, grew since then? He's doing good, man. William, William, you know, he has something to fight for now. He's happy. He's a father now, you know, he, he was, he got married, became a father and, and, you know, so he, he has a family now to fight for before, you know, he was fighting for, for just us, you know, for, for his team, for him. But now he has something, you know, that he wants to secure for the rest of his life. Do you see that in him in his training? Do you see a difference in that? Like, oh yeah, just... yeah, you can just see you know, the glow in his eyes, the the hunger. If that if that guy ever trained hard, he's just he, you know trained harder, and he's um he's he's excited, man. He's excited. He hasn't spent any time with his son. The day his son was born, he went up to camp, you know. So so he's waiting to get home and just and just and just be with his son, you know, just be with his family. And and you know, yesterday we were at the at the at the lunch table and you know they were showing the, the videos of his of his son and all of that so he's just he's excited this matchmaking for this particular fight is is this uh you know talking to other coaches they say hey this is a brilliant matchmaking skills leading up to a a, a Shakur Stevenson fight i mean is that is, do you is that accurate Everything leads up to one to a fight that we want. You know, we, we want those fights. As as a team, we have to sit together and we have to analyze what 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 we're looking for. You know, at the end of the day, what we want. You know, we believe that Tevin Farmer is the is a slick fighter. You know, is a southpaw. Uh, he has a lot of of, of simi similarities to Shakur. Not not the same Shakur, it's just a different breed. You know, but but there's things you know that that are similar to it. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, going going back uh, to uh, you know Oscar De La Hoya. You know, they were talking about you know why that fight didn't get made. You know, they were saying something upon you know uh, Shakur Stevenson wanted a tune up, and then Shakur's team was saying something upon you know William Cepeda was having a kid, and that's why this fight didn't happen sooner. Second what, what's your thought? The second, story, the second story is the truth. We. You know, Shakur's team is a stand-up team. You know, Jay Prince. Uh, we spoke. We had we had good conversations, and and Shakur didn't. It's not that he wanted a tune-up. He wanted to fight really soon. We knew that William was having a was gonna get married, was having a baby, 
you know, I didn't want to take that away from him. You know, I didn't want to take that that away or put that stress on him. I told him that we can do it. This date, this date given to us was November, November 16th. And we told him, yeah. And she, of course, said, no, I want to fight beforehand. So he decided to pick Cordona, which it didn't happen because of a hand injury that Shakur suffered. But yeah, no, the second story is the truth. Nice, nice. Um, obviously, you can't look past Seven Farmer, but I mean, knowing that you know it's happening in the Saudi Arabia card, I mean, uh, how's how's this moment as a coach for you? Obviously, you know he's climbing into that uh, world title contention stage. It's it's something for everyone. For our, I've always said, you know, I'm not alone. We have an entire team behind us. You know, it's something special for all of us. You know, for William's dad, for Coach Duarte, for Jaime, for myself. You know, just yesterday, man, I you know, the team been here a little over a week. I got here the uh, day before yesterday or, you know, and um, yesterday when I was walking to, to breakfast, you know, I just I was talking to my brother and I said, damn, bro, I'm crossing the street in Saudi Arabia, you know, you know, and, and it's something that that William has worked hard for. You know, it's something that I remember telling him when, you know, when Turkey al came out, I said, he's going to call you one day, you know, and it seemed far. It seemed far from from ever getting done. But now we're here, you know. We're here. I'm blessed. I'm thankful. I'm grateful to God. I'm thankful for my team, my family. I'm thankful for William, you know, that has always worked hard, has been disciplined. And he's brought us here, man, to where everybody, you know, uh, desires to be at this moment. And, and now that I'm here, I understand why, why people desire to be here, why people are looking forward to be here. This guy's incredible. You know, it, 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 the, how they're treating us just, just it's. Man, bro, he built the city. He built the Mexico City in, in Saudi Arabia to receive Latino night. You know, that, that's crazy, bro. Come again? He built. He built. He built an entire city. It's you know the uh, Latino a Latino night city. They built it in three months. You know, and, and I mean, he, yeah, they were talking. He had five thousand employees at hand. You know, building this thing. You know, uh, um, putting this show together, and it's just, it's crazy how organized how. How everything, you know, man. Usually, you get to can't believe it. Wow, wow, that's fascinating, man. That's that's great stuff. What do you look when you look at Tevin Farmer, coach, and you look at all the other guys that William Cepeda has been in front of? What do you, you know, what does Tevin Farmer bring that these other guys haven't? Slick, slick. He's been there. He's not scared to be under the lights. He's been the underdog. You know, he he he's went as the underdog. He's won. He's lost. Uh, he knows, you know, he's been in tough fights, man. He was in tough fights with Jojo Diaz, with Murutaya, with uh, you know, Carl. You know, he, he's fought everybody. We haven't. We haven't, you know. We're, 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 we're getting there. He's, he's who we need to beat to get there. He's already beat who he needs to beat to get there, you know. So he's paid his dues. And now it's our turn to, to try and, and set a guy or, or beat a guy that's already done everything that we're looking forward to do. Yeah, that's, you know... He is a good fighter. Um, do you feel like he's past due at this moment in time? I don't think I don't know. I don't think anybody's past due. I know he has a good trainer like Chino. Um, you know that that is a good friend of mine. You know I know that Chino's not just gonna take somebody just to go and, and lose. Chino's confident. You know they're they're confident. I don't I don't think you know he had a good resting time. He didn't look past due on with Murutaya. 